Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm an idiot. I have a Blue Yeti microphone and there's like this mute button on the front and I pressed it and I recorded like, well, I didn't mean to press it obviously, but I recorded a whole video with it on mute. And this video is at a point where I can't easily redo it. So I'm just gonna voice over. So let's just get to it. So the whole purpose of this video is that we're going to be working with database migrations, talk about what they are and how they work. Basically, it's how you can represent a database structure in code. And before you start working with this stuff, you should take a look at the settings. First thing you'll notice is you got this secret key, which you shouldn't share with anyone, oops. And then you got this installed apps. And this is pretty much all the components that Django is gonna have by default. You can get rid of some of those if you don't need them, but just leave them in there for this video. And we're going to actually add our app into this list just down here and you're just gonna type reading.apps.readingconfig. So that's going to go into this apps.py file and find this reading config. So that is how you add your app to your project and basically say that, hey, we have some database migrations too. So we want to define a database structure that we can automatically have created for us. When we do this, it'll allow us to easily migrate our code from one system to another. Let's say we deploy our application, we can just say, yo, generate the databases. When your server is running, you'll notice you got like a red thing that says you have 17 unapplied migrations. Yeah, well that's talking about the migrations that already exist from these installed apps. When we first generate our project, those migrations are not automatically executed. So let's talk about how to run those. All you gotta do is say python manage.py migrate. That's gonna do a bunch of okays and that's gonna apply those migrations. Next up, we can define a database structure to create our own migrations to generate database tables. We do this in the models.py file. Models are just classes that represent our data. So we can create a model in here. We're gonna create a class called book and this is gonna inherit from models.model which you put in parentheses there. Inside of here, you can put any fields that we want in the table. So for example, we can have a title, that's going to be a character field, and you can put different attributes inside of parentheses. An example would be max length being 200. The other field we're gonna have is pages, and this is going to be an integer field with a default of zero. Now to make this into a migration, all you have to do is say python manage.py make migration. So let that run and you'll see in the terminal you'll get something blue and then it says 0001 initial.py. So that's the first migration for our application and we created the migration similar to how the 17 other migrations existed but we haven't applied the migration yet. You can open up that migration file to take a look at what it looks like or you can just not but don't worry about that for right now. So we're just going to apply this migration and here's how you do that. You just say python manage.py migrate. That'll apply the migrations and then it will say okay. So that's your introduction on how to add your app to the settings, how to apply migrations and how to create migrations of your own using these models. So the models are going to be used to structure all of our data and we're gonna talk about how to work with this data in the next video. So stay tuned and again, apologies about my microphone. Stay tuned for the next video and please be sure to subscribe.